This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. It's so remarkable to think that, you know, he starts there and then we know he's going to become, you know, one of the central figures during the, the real boom era of professional wrestling, at, at least for the world wrestling federation. When you look back, you know, sort of before you worked with Bobby, I mean, he had so many big moments, but was there any bigger than the whole WrestleMania three build when he managed Andre against Hulk Hogan? No, couldn't have been. Uh, nothing came close in my, in my estimation. Uh, I remember Bobby, uh, I think that was the event that he was paid a hundred thousand dollars because I, it, now I, I believe it was that event, but he got a, Vince gave him a check for a hundred grand for his work. Uh, and Bobby took it and bought a home in Florida. So, you know, he, he was as as silly as he could be, as funny as he could be, irreverent as he could be, he still had his eye on the big, on the prize. He knew that having a home, having a family unit was hugely important. Uh, so, you know, Bobby was one of those guys that was always ready to go home because he loved the fact that he finally now had, uh, saw some, a solid foundation in his home life. It's why Cindy's a wonderful woman. They had a daughter, Jess. It's, they do well. I'm on Facebook with them, uh, for what that's worth, but we keep up to get with each other in that, in that manner, but she's a wonderful lady. And so Bobby loved that lifestyle. He, he loved having, being a father. He loved being able to provide, but I thought it was very, uh, whereas a lot of guys will go out and buy them a, another Rolex or buy their baby mama, another set of boobs, something like that. Bobby bought a home. So he was very grounded in a, in a lot of ways, even though his on-screen persona was one of a, you know, this mischievous, uh, funny guy, uh, that had this amazing gift of gab. So, and he did boy, he was, I've always said Conrad, and I, I really believe this, and this is not taking away from anything from my other, other broadcast partners whatsoever, or knocking anybody else. I maybe I didn't work with, uh, but Bobby Heenan was the best all around performer in pro wrestling that I ever worked with period. And he was, uh, if you go back and look at some of his in ring work, he was a very, very good heel, a mm -hmm. uh, main event level heel Conrad, uh, because he had amazing timing again for a guy who picked it up naturally because he was not trained how he could even survive going through that was, is amazing to me. I know, uh, he told me that when bruiser smartened him up, that he said, if you tell anybody, I'm going to break both your arms, both your legs and your back. And then when you heal, I'm going to break them again. Well, that's a pretty, uh, menacing warning. You know, we, we believe in, in the, the kayfabe and, and not to, not to, you know, uh, speaking of what really goes on in this process. So, uh, even though people had a great feeling and it could kind of use common sense, but they didn't know the, the intricacies. They didn't know the, uh, all the, the, uh, process. Whereas now if you're a real fan, you're a fan of the ad free network here or grill and JR, so on and so on. And other entities like this, you know, a whole lot more than any other generation in the history of pro wrestling. And that really did not bode well for a lot of the old timers, including Bobby. It, by the way, the house you talked about that he bought off of his WrestleMania three payoff, I believe that's the one where they did a lot of the photo shoots down there. Like the famous one with, uh, Rick, Rick Flair and miss Elizabeth, where uh, it was the, the whole scandal of, Hey, Rick was with her before Randy was, and they did those series of photos out by the pool and things like that. That's all at Bobby's house, the vignettes where. Dusty Rhodes is going to fix the plumbing when they're introducing him as the common man, those series of vignettes, those two are in Bobby's house in Florida and all of that purchased with the WrestleMania three payoff. So obviously, uh, Bobby is going to be, he's going to feel a debt of gratitude to Vince because that's major league payday, the biggest payday of his life. I mean, it's the first time that he really felt like, and he's gone on record as saying, you know, my financial future was solidified and it was all from that right. one event. I mean, I don't know that we now, cause listen, I'm 39 when that, when that show happened, 
I was five years old. I couldn't, I wasn't even watching wrestling, but as a five-year-old, you couldn't really fathom just how big WrestleMania three was, but WrestleMania three, I mean, the entire industry took notice of my goodness, this is the biggest show in the history of the business, right? Yeah, absolutely. Cause it was so, it was an uh, ensemble cast. It was a cavalcade of stars from the entertainment world. Uh, entertainment, including like Billy Martin, inter- he's a base- baseball inter- entertaining, uh, Muhammad Ali. And of course you go to Liberace and the Rockettes and all these things. Uh, and I'm leaving out a lot of names, but it was, a, it was, a, it was a cavalcade of stars. So it, it, it touched on touched connected with many forms of media. You know, the sports media would write about Muhammad Ali or Billy Martin. The entertainment media would talk about Liberace dancing with the Rockettes. Uh, a lot of these stars that were doing a, a little a commentary or an interview of the Bob Eukers of the world, they had their own uh, people and, and entities that followed them media-wise. So what it did, what McMahon did, very intelligently, by the way, it was he created this outlet to, to garner more uh, promotion and more news, more awareness. So finally, if you hear enough times, what this WrestleMania thing they're talking about, they're going to do it in a, in a dome. Are you really? Last time I saw it is at the armory right. type deal. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was huge for the, it was good for all wrestling business. It created an awareness for the genre itself with a different, uh, I thought it, maybe a little different, uh, perception. It wasn't smoky arenas with, you know, uh, primarily male audiences and stuff. It was, Families are going, it was a Disney kind of deal. And I think that, uh, it helped the, all the, all of wrestling create that awareness for what we were trying to do for a living. But, you know, you talk about Bobby's, uh, that money, you know, when Bobby was, uh, he did all kinds of stuff early on to, to make money. He had a mortgage at the age of 16, a, a home mortgage, Connor, you could have helped him out. <laughs> uh, and, uh, it was $52 a month. And so, uh, he was, uh, you know, he, that was, imp- you could see then that having stability in a home, a roof over your head and knowing it's going to be there tomorrow, uh, was something that he always s- sought to have. Not unlike you or me or anybody else. We all want homes and roofs o- roof over our head. So, uh, that was his, that, that shows great responsibility. And for a guy that p- portrayed this character on television, that was totally, you know, you, you, he's from Beverly Hills and this, that, and the other, all those things. The image that, that was, that he created for himself as a TV character was about a 180 from who he really was, which to me was, uh, absolutely amazing. He could pull that, pull that off. That's how talented he was. He created the Bobby, the brain heaning character that had some of his qualities, no doubt his, his timely, uh, banter, his sense of humor. It could be caustic, as I said earlier, it could be funny, uh, or both. So it was really amazing to me that a guy with an eighth grade education, who started out his, his life at 16, uh, uh, you know, it was two years after the eighth grade that he was, he had a mortgage. I don't even know how that's I, legal. I, like you're not even old enough to legally sign a contract, but I guess things are different back then. Well, he might've brought it from a, <clears throat> you're right. I don't, you're more, this, more, more with this than I. I, I'm assuming he bought a place from an owner yeah, an individual. and the owner, fi- yeah. owner financed it. That's kind of what I believe how that worked out. So uh, it, with that, with that said, it's certainly logical, but that's amazing. That's an amazing background. Yeah. Again, considering guy became the best in his field in the world. And I know that's subjected to, well, what about Gary Hart? What about Jim Cornette? What about all these other great managers? JJ Dillon's of the world, yeah. you know, all the, the <laughs> staples in, in WWW. He, he was, I think you ask almost anybody, uh, if you ask Ric Flair, who he thought was the greatest manager of all time, I know what he's going to say. Bobby Heenan. I don't. Yeah. Bobby Heenan. So cause Flair grew up with Bobby Heenan living in Minneapolis and the AWA headquartered there. So but Bobby's story is so unique and it's so unlike what you saw on television that, uh, it was, it's just astonishing the success that he was able to achieve with the educational background that he had 
uh, and not have and being raised in a, in a, uh, in a single parent home, uh, having had the responsibility before he got his driver's license to at 16 to, to buy the groceries, to pay the rent. It, that's just, a, to me, it's just a, it's an amazing story. And it's really a story that, uh, that I believe a movie could be made about Bobby Heenan, but using some of these things we're talking about here now that people would just, uh, consume very aggressively. So he's, he's a, he's a hugely interesting guy in that regard. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.